dear students in this lecture we will discuss about the uh, definition of organometallic compound and the history how the organometallic compound research takes place uh, year by year so what are organometallic compounds so organometallic compounds are the compounds that have at least one mc bond that metal may be uh, metal alkali metal may be alkaline earth metal sometimes it may be metalloid or may be transition metal or it may be f block element so simple organometallic compound definition is that uh, these organometallic compounds they have at least one metal carbon ligand so now what is the history of organometallic compound these organometallic compound they are very important uh, because they have industrial importance generally they are important for organic synthesis they are so they are used in organic synthesis so i will discuss here about the history of organic compound how organic compounds are discovered year by year so first you will see that an important organometallic compound that is gs salt so gs salt is discovered in 1827 so organometallic chemistry starts from 1827 and in 1827 this gs salt discovered its general formula is k p t c l 3 c 2 h 4 h 2 so it is an organometallic compound that is first discovered then in 1863 friedel craft c friedel and j craft they worked on organo chloro silanes so they started work on silanes then in 1890 1890 Elmond Elmond discovered nickel tetracarbonyl tetracarbonyl nickel he discovered the uh, this uh, first carbonyl uh, that is tetra nickel uh, tetracarbonyl nickel in 1890 and it is an important organometallic compound and this is the part of metal carbonyls then in 1899 the important reagent that is grignard reagent it came to existence it is discovered in 1899 then there are a number of nobel prizes in uh, organometallic compounds uh, research so in 1912 in 1912 the first nobel prize was goes to the organometallic compounds so victor gignard and p septier sabatier they obtained nobel prize for the gignard reagent then in 1930 Henry Gilman Henry Gilman they synthesized lithium cuprates and these lithium cuprates are very important synthetic compounds uh, they are uh, they have been used in synthetic chemistry so uh, these uh, lithium uh, cuprates they are used to synthesize many organic compounds a series of organic compounds then in 1951 an important organometallic compound that is ferrocene it is sandwich compound cyclopentadienyl two rings of cyclopentadienyl this sandwich iron and this is discovered in 1951 then the second nobel prize on organometallics that goes to k gisler and g nata in 1963 so after 1912 the second nobel prize goes to the organometallic chemistry and uh, gisler and nata they gives they have given uh, the important reaction that is gisler nata polymerization reaction then third nobel prize in uh, organometallics was in 1973 that has been achieved on 1973 and that uh, was achieved by g william wilkinson and e o fisher for sandwich compounds so working on the sandwich compounds they got nobel prize in 1973 so first in 1912 then second in 1963 and after 10 year in 1973 again a nobel prize was came to the 
organometallic chemistry then in 2005 in 2005 this is the recent one recent one are two that are 2005 and 2010 so in 2005 y juven grubbs and r shock they got nobel prize for working on alkene metathesis and the next nobel prize was obtained by richard h heck ichi negishi and akira suzuki they obtained this nobel prize for cross coupling in organic synthesis so so these uh, this is the uh, history regarding organometallic so organometallic compounds they are very important because they have industrial importance and uh, they are used in organic synthesis various organic synthesis Uh, processes so you have seen that there are five nobel prizes in the organometallics that is in 1912 then 1963 then 1973 then 2005 then 2010 subscribe